Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, I have a Halloween Bolo category video for you guys. These are big money Bolos selling on eBay in the category of vintage Halloween. One of my favorite categories to sell in. I love vintage Halloween. I just wish I could find more of it because, oh my goodness, wait until you see these Bolos. All right, let's get started. Our Halloween blow molds. I'm telling you what, some of these go for crazy money. Some go for more than others, but um, definitely be on the lookout for them. Look them up. The more rare, the better, of course. But this witch right here sold for $346. It had 91 bids. And how I do my category videos is I look for items with a lot of bids um, because to me that shows demand for an item. Like if it only had one bid, you know, maybe the, the seller got lucky. So 91 bids. And I know that's not unique bidders, that's bids, but people were bidding it up. So $346 on this one. And it looks like it's just a tabletop. So it's not very big, you guys. Super, super cool. The next item is this vintage double face Halloween paper mache um, pumpkin jack o' lantern, and it has the insert. And I shared one of these in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group the other day. Um, if you guys aren't in that, you can check out the description down below and definitely come join. But there was one where the face was lit up, and this is a different listing, but man, I definitely would have featured with the face lit up because it makes a world of difference. But this one sold for $138.50 with 62 bids and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this, ooh, cha-ching. You guys, that sound never gets old. Um, oh, wow. Um, so it's a game that I got. And it's basically, I, I decided to just sell the game pieces because the value of the game by the time they would have paid shipping, it would not have been worth it and it never would have sold. So I pulled out the pieces and did them as replacement pieces. And it's a bread and butter item, but still, there's an idea, guys. All right, so this one is a vintage Halloween skull candle lantern. And you can see here, this is what it looks like. So it's very different from the first one or the one I just showed. And this one sold for $155 with 59 bids and the buyer paid shipping. And you can see here, it's got some damage, but these, it's probably what, made out of cardboard? So definitely be on the lookout for these vintage Halloween items, you guys. The next item is another, <coughs> excuse me, another blow mold. And this one is a ghost holding a black cat. And there it is all lit up. This sold for $172.50 and the buyer paid shipping. And I'm thinking that's probably a tabletop also. Sometimes it's hard to tell. Let me see. Let's see. Does it say? Yeah, 12 and a half inches. So not very big. The next item are these rare set of six different vintage Halloween postcards. You guys, postcards. If you can find the vintage Halloween postcards, you are in the money. How cool are those? And these sold for $174.49 with 56 bids and the buyer paid the shipping. Um, five of the six cards have never been used. So that's what they are. They're postcards. One of them's been used. But yeah, people love those graphics. All right, the next item is these uh, jack-o'-lantern pumpkin candy containers from the 1950s. Super cute. And that one's missing a wheel. These sold for $169.50 and 54 bids, buyer paid shipping. And my suggestion to this seller, not that I'll ever see them or talk to them, and I doubt they're watching, but would be, they only used three photos. I wanna see what they look like, like from the top, you know, the top view. So definitely use your photos, you guys. All right, this vintage Halloween candy container is another one that I shared in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. Again, the link is down in the description. 
This sold for $129.28 with 54 bids and the buyer paid shipping. You guys, look how little it is. It's so, I mean, it's so funny that these things go for those crazy prices. How cool is that? This is a rare vintage Halloween black cat and pumpkin. I think it's pronounced crepe, crepe, crepe paper. And it's an apron. It's from the 1920s. Can you believe it's still like, I mean, it hasn't fallen completely apart. That's amazing. This sold for $165.50 with 50 bids and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is super cool. It's a rare vintage Halloween old witch sparkler with original cardboard package. So I'm not really certain what this thing does. Um, it says sparkler. Huh. Does anybody know? If you do, comment below. Makes dazzling, colorful, harmless sparks. Huh. Never seen one of those. All right. There you have it. It sold for $300 with 49 bids and the buyer paid shipping. The next item are these, it says dead mint. So I'm guessing they're meaning dead stock, like um, no longer made. Set of eight vintage Halloween paper die, caught, die cut decorations mid-century. And here you have it. And people collect these, you guys. You would be surprised what people pay for vintage Halloween items. There are hardcore um, collectors out there. This sold for $330, 47 bids, and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this rare cabbage head German hat wearing veggie man Halloween stick pen. Now, um, if you look here, it looks like these are other Halloween items that this person is selling, which I always think is weird when they put those in their listing. Um, oh my goodness. That's so funny. This back here, um, this pumpkin, a friend of mine, Leah's bits and pieces. I have a video on it. And if you go to that video, this pumpkin is, um, the main photo and she sold one of these and go watch that video if you want to see what she sold it for. But she had two others and she sold them lower. And I was like, I better resellers buying it. So I wonder if this is hers. Anyway, definitely um, go check out that video and you'll see what I'm talking about. But this pin, this stick pin sold for $158.50, 47 bids, buyer paid shipping. You know what? Who wants to see other items? I do. All right. Um, wow, that one doesn't have any bids. Huh. That's odd. Wonder why? Because it looks vintage. Maybe it's not. Huh. Yeah, see, they're calling a lot of this Halloween. Um, but yeah, they've got some stuff that uh, doesn't have any bids. And that's all they have is five results. Let's look at their solds. I'm just curious now because they showed that other listing. So I'm going to go to highest first. Holy cow, $6,913. Get out of town. <coughs> Excuse me. $5,000, $4,000, $3,000. Oh my gosh. I need to take a picture of this. I'm going to send it to my friend and see if this is the same one she sold. Um, I should send her the username also and see if it was the person she might remember. How crazy is that? It sold for $2,600. And I think hers sold for over a thousand. The one did. And then the other two, she sold for less. Look at these. I mean, this person I'm guessing goes on eBay and buys on the off season and then lists everything in September, it looks like. This is absolutely crazy. Oh my gosh. Wow. Wow, wow. What do you guys think? I think that they specialize in Halloween, for sure. Oh, look at that. That's like a little, it looks like a hanger. Oh no, maybe it's, I thought it was a hanger. <laughs> 
Look at these sold prices, you guys. This is just like their whole sold list is a bolo. Unbelievable. And this is on my list to show you guys. Wow. Oh, so this is a napkin ring and it's Bakelite. How cool is that? And if you guys want to know how to test for Bakelite, I have a video on that also. If you go to my YouTube and search Bakelite, it will uh, pull it up and I teach you how to check it. And I'm not an expert, but um, it's very simple. Check out this. Oh, look at this. It's a light bulb. Huh. All right, we're going to move on to the next set of um, items, but I just wanted to check this out and I'm glad I did. Oh, look at that. It's a, uh, oh, I was thinking it was a candle, but it's not. Oh, yep. Halloween plates. Super cool. 34 bucks. And again, some of these things like, you know, they're taking a risk doing um, auction because they may have gotten more if they would have done a, a buy it now. I wonder what their description says. Um, we are selling some old, rare, and unique Halloween items. Some of the items include, and then it just goes through. Um, and then they say the three group shots of the Halloween and Christmas treasures they're selling. So really they take one picture, like one listing, and then they advertise all their other ones at the end. And then that drives business into their store. It's an interesting way of doing things for sure. Okay. The next item are these Halloween party helps nut or candy trays from the 1930s, you guys. Oh my gosh. How cool is that? That is cool. And those sold for $981.87. Wow. And the buyer paid shipping. <laughs> this is a vintage 1920s Halloween party mechanical fortune place card. I'm going to send my um, friend a picture of that right now and see if that was the one she had. I could just go look at my video, but it's quicker to do this. <clears throat> okay. So we'll see if she gets back to me. Um, 1920s. Uh, so it's a mechanical fortune place card. Huh? Very interesting. Sold for $275 with 42 bids. The next item are these 10 vintage Halloween 10 party noisemaker horns sold for $188 and 50 cents with 42 bids and the buyer paid shipping. The next item are these vintage Halloween B-style, I think, or I don't even know how to say it, B-style, B-style box of silhouettes complete. I don't know if they're like little die cuts, but this sold for $255 with 40 bids and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this ah Halloween mask. It's a scary Miss Piggy made in West Germany. That is weird. Um, I did a category video on items that are weird. And I'm like, now that is weird all through the video. And this should have been in that video because this is definitely weird. And it sold for $245.50 with 39 bids in the buyer paid shipping. Um, this is a vintage Halloween witch fortune palm reading die cut hand. So guys, basically it's a piece of paper. <laughs> a thicker piece of paper and it's a die cut, which means it takes the shape of the object. And this sold for $162 and 50 cents with 38 bids and the buyer paid shipping. Uh Oh, there we go. Um, so this is a vintage celluloid Halloween black cat rattle. It's an antique. Can you guys tell me how to know if something is celluloid? Is there any tip for that? This sold for $215.50 and the buyer paid shipping. And that is definitely a funny looking cat. The next item is this vintage Denison Halloween acorn face sticker seals. Amazing. You guys, this went for $462.99 with 37 bids and the buyer paid shipping. How amazing is that? The next item is this 
this was that same guy. I remember seeing this in um, when we were going through his store. Um, I'm going to take a picture of that. It is, I'm going to send her and see if that's the guy that, that bought it from her. Um, so this is a German tin pan noisemaker from, it's vintage, it's eight inches, and it sold for $576.60 with 36 bids and the buyer paid shipping. This is a vintage German Halloween 1920s, 37 inch, heavenly, heavily, sorry, embossed jointed skeleton. Interesting. And it sold for $317.57. Telling you guys, people love vintage Halloween. Highly collectible. The next item are these 1970s, 1980s plastic Halloween masks. It's a lot of nine. And I believe these are just like, yeah, plastic. You know, they, they're not fancy. And these sold for $140.40 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Denison's boogie book. Hmm. Um, uh, it's a book, a decoration suggestions from 1925. It sold for $86 with 35 bids in the buyer paid shipping. The next item are these Halloween paper napkins, you guys from the 1940s. How cool is that? Three napkins. Yep. Three sold for $69 dollars. Awesome. Oh, I like that one with the cute little trees. The next item is this trick or treat plastic pumpkin bucket. And it's kind of like blow mold material, I would say. And so it says treat trick. Ah, oh, that's cute. Um, looks like it's got kind of an issue there. <laughs> and, um, it sold for $142 and 50 cents with 33 bids and the buyer paid shipping. The next item are these, uh, I'm sorry, it's a vintage 1960s Halloween holiday book by Lily Patterson. It says great illustrations. And here you have it. Yeah, so people like the, um, the illustrations, you know, that collect Halloween items. Super cool. Definitely, I agree with that. Sold for $256, 33 bids, free shipping. The next item is this vintage black cat Halloween cake candle holders. Um, again, I would have utilized more pictures. Super cute. Sold for $82.98 and the buyer paid shipping. Here's another Halloween plastic blow mold pumpkin jack-o'-lantern candy pail bucket. This one sold for $204.49 with 32 bids. So some of the vintage pails can definitely be a bolo. Um, I, I don't know. I guess just be sure to check them. This one's taller. Um, I don't know if that's what's making it more valuable. I'm really not sure. He looks like he has COVID hair and needs a haircut. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, the world we're living in, right? All right, the next item is these, there's 15 of them. They're vintage 1960s, 1970s Halloween candy pa paper trick-or-treat bag collection. These sold for $61 and the buyer paid shipping. And honestly, I'm surprised that didn't go for more because those are really cool. The next item is this tambourine. It's um, got the black cats on it. This was another one that I shared in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. Um, this one sold for $335 was the end bid with 29 bids and, um, the buyer paid shipping. And the last item is this antique vintage, witch candy container. Um, it's German paper mache and it says as is. So look, her body comes apart and you put candy in it. How crazy is that? Would you guys ever look at this and think, oh my gosh, that's a, almost a $3,000 item. No way. Almost sold for $3,000, $2,922. What do you think? Worth it? Let's go in and look. 10 unique bidders. It looks like they have it on a private um, listing to keep the people bidding private. Um, I'm not sure. Let's see. Let me try something here. 
think this sold in let's see auction pet okay see let's go to feedback and let's type in which and there's no feedback yet so uh let's go to view sellers other items and it looks like they've got a bunch of halloween stuff also uh let's go to highest first And I don't see that it's been relisted, so I don't see feedback either. But sometimes when it's a private listing like that, people don't leave feedback. These are cute. These little um, toothpicks made in Japan. I'm surprised those haven't sold, honestly. Um, so, yeah, what do you guys think uh, Halloween bolos go for? I think it's crazy. So I am getting ready to work on a Christmas bolo category video for you guys. Um, that will be coming out in the future, definitely after this video. But thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. There should be some videos that are going to pop up now. And you guys can click on one of those and check out another video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. And I'll see you at the next video.